What is up guys, Jarv here back today jumping into Destiny. We are back with another This Week in Destiny, giving you the full breakdown for the up and coming week. This week marks the final week of Guardian Games. We also have our first Into the Light live stream, a full breakdown of all the weekly rituals and a brand new Nightfall exclusive weapon and so much more. So be sure to stick around and enjoy the video. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a comment and rating down below. And remember to subscribe for more Destiny 2 content. We are well on our way to 200k, so make sure to hit that red button and ring that bell to make sure you don't miss an update. But without further delay, guys, let's jump into the video. Another week and another this week in Destiny. This is week 17 of Season of the Wish and the final week of the Guardian Games All-Star event. The Hunters have taken the dub for two consecutive weeks. It looks like they're taking the dub for the entire event too. But as it's the final week, it's also your last opportunity to get your hands on the skimmer as part of the quest that's exclusive to this event. So if you want to save some of those real world pennies and avoid handing any silver over to Tess in Eververse, which is offering a paid alternative, then you have one week left to pick up this awesome new Destiny 2 vehicle. Now, alongside that, we are also still supporting the Guardian Games charity incentive. Now, you'll find the link down in the video description below. But by supporting an incredible cause in the form of the Bungie Foundation, you can also pick up the Together in Contribution emblem. There are only 40,000 emblems available and only 7,000 have been redeemed up until now. So if you have a few pennies spare and want to support an amazing cause while picking up this exclusive emblem, then be sure to check out the links and details down in the video description below. Now, before we can even get into Guardian Games this week, Bungie are kicking off a series of live streams to reveal the Destiny 2 Into the Light update. The first stream kicks off at 10 a.m. Pacific time on March 19th. Now this will be available to all players throughout the months of April and May and this is all in preparation for the final shape that launches in June. Now if you watch 30 minutes of any of the up and coming live streams you'll earn an exclusive emblem called Those Held Dear. And over the course of the three streams if you can watch two hours in total then you'll also pick up the Echo Diamond emblem. So if you want to find out more about the future of Destiny 2 between now and the final shape whilst also earning an emblem then be sure to check out these live streams and we'll be co-streaming them right here on youtube so be sure to stay stuck to the channel and we'll keep you up to date now from here we're going to move on to the featured raid challenge for the crota's end raid this takes place over at the eute encounter and is called equal vessels now all six players must rotate the chalice of light buff in the same order throughout the entire fight the easiest way to do this is to sort out a rotation ahead of time and with that rotation set you can just rotate the chalice across all players at the very beginning of each phase and once you have enough enlightened players it can simply be placed in the pedestal which you'll find in the area as you enter the arena. Now if you and your team can pull this off then you'll gain access to an additional raid chest and that all important bonus raid loot. Now speaking of raids this moves us on to the featured raid and dungeon content for the week. Now the featured raid for the up and coming week is the Deep Stone Crypt. Now this launched all the way back in Beyond Light, is a firm fan favourite and is one of the more accessible raids in the rotation. Now the Deep Stone Crypt had an update many moons ago which means all the weapons are now craftable and as the featured raid all the challenges are available too. So not only can you earn the seal this week, you can also farm all the encounters for weapon patterns if you're still looking to pick some of them up. And on top of that, if you don't have the Eyes of Tomorrow, the exclusive exotic rocket launcher only available in this raid, you can even farm Tanix the final boss to get your hands on it. Now, as for the featured dungeon, this week sees the Pit of Heresy return. Now, unlike the Prophecy that's had an update recently, Pit of Heresy alongside Shattered Throne are in a dire need of an update. That being said though, Pit is still a great place to get some high stat armor if you can take out Zolmark the final boss as he has a chance to drop some very spiky armor sets but it's important to remember that these won't be artifice armor. Now next up we move on to the featured exotic mission Now the exotic mission in this week's rotator is the Presage. Now this is the home to the dead man's tail, the exotic scout rifle which is fully craftable and even has a new trait added to the perk pool. Now to gain access to this you will need to either own Beyond Light or Season of the Chosen and alongside the dead man's tail you can also pick up armor and weapons from Season of the Haunted 2. That includes Nazarek's Whisper, Bump in the Night, Tears of Contrition, 
followed denial, fire fright, without remorse, Ostringer, Drang, Beloved, the Callus Mini Tool, and on top of those, you can even pick up the Eidolon Pursuant Armor Set. Now, all the armor and weapons can drop during the course of the activity or upon activity completion. Now, next up, this moves us on to Dares of Eternity in the 30th Anniversary Pack Activity, alongside the Scatterhorn Armor Set from Forsaken. This week sees the return of the Pathfinder Armor Set from Season of the Lost. And as always, with Season of the Lost Armor, we have all the weapons from Season of the Lost 2, including Fractathist, Chrysuria Mello, Volpecula, Wolftone Draw, Iota Draconis, Canis Major, alongside the Contingency Plan, Legal Action 2, Outrageous Fortune, Still Sybil Z14, and the Spoiler Alert Sidearm. And much like the featured exotic mission, all these weapons and armor pieces can drop during the course of the activity upon completion. And for dares, you can even hand in strange coins over at the Star Horse over in the Treasure Horde. Now next up we move on to the weekly rituals and this week we have a returning Nightfall and Grandmaster Nightfall for week 17. This comes in the form of Corrupted which has naturally been reworked over time. It isn't quite as difficult as it used to be and with that being said we do see a brand new Nightfall exclusive weapon available this week. This comes in the form of a new Stasis Vortex Sword called the Slammer. Now this has to be one of the most sought after weapons that was added in Bungie's recent update as it's one of the only swords that can roll with bait and switch. This will make this sword absolutely deadly. We're going to have a full preview of the entire weapon tomorrow, so keep your peepers peeled on the channel. And if you and your fire team can complete the Grandmaster Challenge with a Platinum Medal, then this will guarantee to drop as a Nightfall exclusive reward. Now next up, moving on to the featured Crucible Rotators. This week sees the continuation of Supremacy alongside Guardian Games. However, this week also sees the return of Showdown. Now we are still a few weeks out from Iron Banner, so this week we'll still see the continuation of Trials over Osiris on Friday's Daily Reset. And this Friday you'll be able to pick up the Prophet Scout Rifle and its adept version, as this will be the featured weapon in this weekend's Trials of Osiris. It's a great week if you're looking to pick up some new weapons, whether that be in PvE or PvP. Now as for bonus ranks this week, this can in fact be found over in Gambit. So if you are still looking to earn your Dredgen Seal or Guild it, then this week will be the week to do it. Or if like myself, you're still holding on to all your Gambit seasonal challenges, then this week will be the week to get them all knocked out. Now to wrap us up for the week, we're going to move on to the Lost Sector calendar for week 17. This week kicks off over in the Chamber of Starlight and we'll be offering exotic chess pieces. As for Wednesday, you can head over to Perdition for a chance at exotic helmets. Thursday, you can head over to the Bunker E15 for a chance at exotic boots. On Friday, with the return of Trials, you can choose to head over to the Concealed Void for another chance at exotic gauntlets. On Saturday, Thrillodrome is back, offering exotic chess pieces, and you can round out the weekend over in the Guided Precept, which will be once again offering exotic helmets. And to fully wrap up the week, you can head back to the Scavenger's Den on Monday, and this will be once again offering exotic boots. So as always, if you're still filling out your exotic collection, then be sure to plan your week accordingly. And if you want to check out this calendar in full for yourself, make sure to do so over in Today in Destiny. And I'll leave the link to that down in the video description below. So there we have it guys, a good look on everything that you can expect for week 17 of Season of the Wish. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to check out one of the two videos you see here in these cards for more Destiny 2 content. And if you want to keep up to date with everything to do with Destiny 2, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to pick the game as always guys, and I will catch you all again very soon.